Hello everybody, welcome to Shinichi's World. I'm Shinichi and today I'm going to be answering the rest of the questions that you guys asked me over on Tabi Eats. Ping Pong asks, what are best Japanese snacks with bananas in them? I don't know. I don't think we have that many snacks with bananas in them. We do have a uh, pretty cheap cake that you can buy at the uh, convenience stores. Uh, it's basically a sponge roll with a whole banana inside and whipped cream and that one's pretty good so I'd recommend that. Tokyo Drew is asking would you do a collaboration video with small youtubers from Tokyo and um, the answer to that would be uh, maybe. There are some things that we consider before we collaborate with someone. Um, number one it has to be a channel that makes sense for us to collaborate so if your channel is about gaming, uh, we would probably say no because it has nothing to do with our channel and our channel has nothing to do with your channel so it just doesn't make any sense and it will probably not benefit either of us. What we look for is someone who's serious, who is um, uploading videos on a schedule regularly, who's serious about doing YouTube, who's, who's putting um, his or her utmost effort, 100% effort into the, his or her YouTube career. Um, we, we look at all these things and, and um, that's pretty much how we decide who we're going to collaborate with. What are some of the craziest foods that you have tried and didn't like? Hmm... I don't think I've tried that many crazy foods. I think the craziest thing I've ever tried was um, a freak shake. It was called a volcano shake in Hawaii. That was kind of too much. Sir Globs a lot asks, "What is your favorite flavor of Kit Kat?" Otona no matcha, which means um, matcha for adults. It's a little bit more bitter than the regular matcha Kit Kats, so I like that one. Okay, Alicia McGinley asks, "What is one good place to eat in Japan?" One good place. Hmm. One good place? You know, you know that there are a lot of good places here, right? One out of the thousands of places that I could recommend, uh, I recommend you try out Coco Curry. Um, Japanese curry is definitely something I recommend you eating if you've never tried it. Um, definitely go with um, the recommendations that we make on our video. Check that one out over on Tabi Eats. Okay, so Dennis the Cow asks, My question is, where is your favorite area in Japan to get food and what food is that? And that would be Osaka. I really love the food in Osaka because the food is not pretentious. It's very down to earth. I'm sure there are a lot of carbs, but pretty much anything I eat in Osaka tends to be good. My favorite food in Osaka would have to be the nikuman, the meat bun from Horai, 551 Horai. Um, they are amazing. Someone asked, I, I, I can't read the name because it's in Chinese characters, but the question is where would you like to go next with Satoshi in Japan and abroad? Well, uh, we will be going to Okinawa at the end of this month and we'll be going to Los Angeles next month. Maybe Kyoto. I would like to go to Kyoto, Germany, because I, I have a feeling that Satoshi is going to love Germany, with the beer and the sausages and the architecture. I know he's going to love that. Laura Kleinfelter asks, as far as questions go, do you enjoy Filipino food? Yes, I do. And if so, what is your favorite dish? My favorite dish has to be adobo. Yeah, chicken adobo or pork adobo, doesn't matter, I love that dish. And number two, what is your dream for the future of the Tabi Eats channel? My dream is for the Tabi Eats channel to become huge. I want our channel to reach the entire world. Okay, Roseberry asks, what is one food that you can eat over and over and not get sick of it? Tendon. Tendon is uh, tempura over a bowl of rice with this special tempura sauce. Love that. I love that so much. Okay, Will Ha asks, what do you do and what does Satoshi do? Um, well, we both are full-time YouTubers. <clears throat> and so 
we don't do anything other than YouTube as far as uh, uh, jobs go. Uh, do you cook your daily breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And examples. Uh, we used to. We used to before YouTube. We used to always cook. Um, but since we now eat and cook for a living, we don't cook as often. Days Nishimura's question is Where in Brazil would you like to visit? Um, um, I don't know. I, I just want to visit anywhere. Um, um, Sao Paulo? Would you like to visit Portugal? Yeah, for sure. Okay, Shuyin1111 has four questions. What is your favorite dish so far? Okay, that, that's a really difficult question. Um, I'm, there's too many dishes that I, I, that are my favorites. Tendon for one. Uh, nikuman, good nikuman. Gyoza. Um, I love sweet and sour pork um, and chocolate cake. What is your favorite nationality food, such as Italian, French, American? Once again, I, that's something that I cannot answer. There's just too many favorites. Three, what dish would you like to try to make? As in something you've had before but not made before. Um, I would love to master the art of making kimchi. Next time you come to Australia, would you let me show you around my region, the Hunter Valley? Sure, that would be wonderful. Daniel Worth Nintendo. <laughs> cool name. Um, I'm heading to Japan in four weeks and staying in the west side of Ikebukuro. Are there any good places you can suggest to eat there? Um, west side of Ikebukuro, I don't really remember which side is west. Where, when Satoshi and I we go to Ikebukuro, we tend to uh, almost always go to um, a few places. One being a ramen restaurant that we haven't been to. Number two would be this uh, Japanese buffet place in the Tolbu department store. Um, there is a restaurant floor, I think two restaurant floors on the top of that department store. One floor is all buffet restaurants, but there is one Japanese buffet restaurant there. It's amazing and it's very reasonable. And number three, we have our favorite hamburger restaurant, which is actually from Hawaii and it's called Kua Aina Burger. That's located inside Sunshine. That's located inside Sunshine City in Ikebukuro. When are you guys going to Okinawa? We're going to be going to Okinawa at the end of this month, uh, October 23, 27, I don't, sorry, not October, September, September 23. Uh, Peter asks, what do you normally eat regular day-to-day -day type meals? Um, we, we, eat a, we eat a variety of things. Um, during the summer, we eat a lot of salads, uh, fresh fruits, um, cold noodles, ice cream. Uh, during the colder months, uh, we eat a lot of um, root vegetables such as sweet potatoes and lotus roots, uh, soups. Um, but yeah, we, we eat a lot of a variety of things really. Um, there, there's no um, like uh, set things that we eat. The, the only thing that we eat a lot of on a regular basis is natto. Soccer Talent 7 asks, can you both make videos on food that is gross to you once in a while? Would love to see your reactions. Sure. Okay. Alright. Right. right. Okay, sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. And if I forget, please remind me. Cindy Lewis question is, can you make shaved ice if you don't have a shaved ice maker? Hmm, I'm not sure about that. I have to think about that, do some research, experiment a little, and get back to you on that one. Uh, Kamiya Tetsuya asks, How do you make takoyaki without the takoyaki pan? That's a good question, and that's something that I will research, experiment, and get back to you. Carrie G asks, What's on your bucket list? Oh, I have a lot on my bucket list, believe me spend a couple of months traveling around the world, uh, riding on a plane first class, discovering how to reverse time, and visiting all the countries that's on my bucket list. Okay, so Nicola Grant asks, um, how long have you two been living together? Uh, we've been living together for 17 years. How well do you get on with this family? Or is it too personal? Well, it is personal. It's kind of personal for the other one, but uh, I don't really get along with them. Um, 
I shouldn't, that's actually not the proper answer, but they do know that I exist, but they prefer not to talk about it. The Bell Tree asks, any plans to film in the Tohoku or Yamagata region? And that's something, that's a good question and that's something that I would like to do, but I'm not sure how comfortable Satoshi feels about it. So you might want to ask him about that one. Laura Evans asks, what types of music do you listen to? Do you have a favorite genre? Um, I listen to all kinds of music. I don't really have a favorite genre. I really do like any type of music that I, I, I like. But one of my favorite artists has always been Madonna because she's been an inspiration to me my entire life. She really, she really helped me out you know, through her songs and message when I was struggling with um, my own sexual identity, um, my self-confidence, etc. And so, yeah. So, yeah, Madonna holds a special place in my heart. Okay, Peter Burkix asks, um, Do you guys plan to make another collaboration um, with other people such as um, Eric Surf 6? Uh, we would love to. Uh, we were actually planning to do collaborations this year, but we just didn't have time. Uh, we wanted to collaborate with um, Emmy Made in Japan again, um, but um, yeah, and time just flew by this year. Now, Peter also asked, do you plan on making videos on um, bento? Bento, making bento. Um, not sure yet, but um, yeah, um, keep commenting about it and you might. Uh, you might see us making a bento video in the future. And last but not least, do you plan to come to Europe in the near future? Um, definitely, we have Germany that we know we have to go probably next year. And I personally would love to go to Italy and um, France. Helena Moenoa asks, when are you coming back to Hawaii? Would you do a meetup here? Definitely. I would like to go back to Hawaii sometime next year, early sometime in the spring maybe and yeah i would love to do a meetup there i would really love to that's kind of like my dream um cell Sel 23 asks are you planning for any meetups in tokyo anytime soon probably the earliest meetup in tokyo will have to be next year because we're just too booked and busy this year so probably probably next year sometime during the spring Samantha Borham asks, what is Justin's favorite food? That one's easy. It's chicken. Akira Kurosawa asks, is bacon God? No, tendon is God. Simple Life Homesteader from Down Under Australia asks, do you guys have a job through the day or just YouTube? It's just YouTube, our full-time job. Marivic Santos question is, is there a possibility of you two visiting Nagano Particularly Suwa and Shimo Suwa. I lived there for three years and would love, love to see a video of you and Satoshi going there. Definitely, it is definitely a possibility and I will put that on my list. Starry Idea. Starry Idea asks, what is one thing you and Satoshi have in common? One thing where you are the polar opposites of each other. Okay, so one thing we both have in common. We, 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 we both don't like drama you know like uh, like like drama in life in general like uh, people who create unnecessary drama people you know people who complain all the time we both love food so that's another thing we have in common uh, polar opposites too many to mention don't ask haphazardly haphazardly me asks how did you and satoshi meet uh, we met online uh, he found my my website. I used to have a website. Uh, he found my website online, uh, sent me an email. Um, I ignored it at the beginning and then eventually we met up and the rest is history. Sandy's is asking, where is the biggest supermarket in Tokyo located? I don't know where the bigger, biggest supermarket is, but one of the biggest supermarket is Seiyu located in Nerima. Nerima Station, they have Seiyu, that's a big one, and right next door they have another big supermarket, 
Uh, it's right next door to each other. So if you're interested in supermarkets, I definitely recommend going to Nerima. Bini Roblete asks, have you ever visited the northern region of Japan? Yes, I have, like uh, Yamagata, Niigata, and of course Hokkaido, which is way, way north. Have you vis ever visited an authentic Japanese inn and onsen that are mostly featured in anime? Well, well, the thing is that I don't really watch anime. I'm not like a huge anime fan. I'm pretty sure if I start watching it, I would be become a fan. So maybe you can tell me which anime to watch. Um, but uh, yes, I have been to many authentic Japanese inns and onsens. I love them. Hongvi Hongvi asks, does the food taste like American food? I'm scared to travel out there. I don't know why. Hmm, you mean like, does the food in Japan taste like American food? Well, if you're eating American food, most likely, yeah, it'll taste similar or exactly like American food. But um, other than that, you're out of luck. Okay, Helena Zhuang asks, I'm wondering if you could do a Halo Top taste test when you visit LA in October. Halo Top is a light ice cream brand that recently beat Ben & Jerry's and haagen to become the number one selling ice cream in the US. Interesting, okay. That's definitely going to be on my list of places to go. Okay, NY Knight asks, my question is how is Japan during the fall? I love the fall season. Fall is one of the best times to come to Japan. Um, try to time it so you come here during the, the foliage um, because the mountains are beautiful, Kyoto is beautiful. The only downfall to that is that it rains a lot during the fall and a lot of tourist places if you come at peak season when the leaves are red and orange and yellow, it's going to be crowded wherever you go. Heather Rodriguez asks, uh, will there be more vending machine gachapon videos? Um, sure. Um, we're doing more research on vending machines. It, it's really hard to find vending machines in Tokyo these days So um, we haven't found an interesting one yet, but we'll definitely get on that one If you want to see more gachapon videos, definitely the only reason we haven't been doing those is because they don't seem to be that popular on Tabi Eats, so we kind of got to think about that one But yeah, we might do one for you. Maybe I'll do one for you on this channel. How's that? Okay, so Derek Sakata asks, I will be traveling to Tokyo and Osaka on Wednesday for 20 days. Um, so number one, what is the weather like in Tokyo in September? How should I pack? You don't have to pack heavy. Um, just make sure you bring some light sweaters. Um, you could probably, some, there are some days that you, you could probably wear shorts, but um, yeah, maybe bring uh, jeans or long pants just in case. Hakim Nizami asks, what is your inspiration to be a YouTuber? Um, I used to have a website, a personal website that talked about very personal things. And um, I felt like I had a lot to say. I, I, I felt like I had a lot to share that people could learn from and people could relate to hopefully helping someone get through a difficult part of their lives. And um, so I'm inspired to make videos that would open people's mind up to other cultures. And I thought that food and travel, because those are my passions, that they could help open up people's minds um, to other people's cultures through food and travel, because everyone understands food. So that inspires me to make videos on YouTube. So I think I'm gonna stop here because my camera's running out of battery and um, I still haven't gotten through all the questions. Um, please let me know if you want me to answer the rest of the questions or if this is just boring and you just want me to stop, uh, let me know in the comments down as well. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you found the answers to the questions interesting and um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care everybody. Have a great week.